Hi guys, this is Noiser with another episode of Quick Tips, the series where I post short videos, each containing one tip that has helped me improve my game in Rainbow Six Siege. Today's quick tip is something I realized when watching my own gameplay, as I do from time to time. More interesting was that this is something that happened several times in the same game, with a positive outcome for me every time, so I wanted to share this with you to get your view on it. What I realized is that I was strafing when I was expecting to be peaked and pre-fired. Sometimes I was anticipating the peak and using sounds to time my strafing. Other times I just strafed sideways as sort of a reflex when I was being engaged. I will show you a couple of examples in these clips as it feels like I was countering the peaker's advantage a bit. Although not really intentional, at least not in this game where I first noticed it. In this clip I was defending the bomb in the control room on Canal and ended up in a typical position to be peaked and pre-fired from the entrance to the right of me, as that is a bit more difficult to protect myself from, at least from this position. Attackers engaging me from the connector between the two rooms on this floor are easier to take from here in my opinion. I'm not sure how intentional my first strafe was, but I could hear movement to my right in this situation though and probably started to anticipate a peak from an attacker pre-firing this corner. The interesting thing about this when watching the gameplay is that it feels like I'm running away from the bullets while the attacker is running into mine. That's completely logical of course as I'm moving away from the corner that the attacker is pre-firing while my movement is moving with that player. But this situation made me think that those reasons might not be the whole truth. For some reason it felt like I was hitting more bullets than I should and the attackers were missing more. Theoretically it's possible that some of my bullets were missing the target on my screen but registering as hits as the attacker probably was slightly in front of his character model on my screen. Due to the peaker's advantage. If you're new to this concept, FPS games or Rainbow Six Siege in general, you should check out my video around peaker's advantage linked in the description below. Now, this is just speculation from my part, which is why I wanted to get your view on it. The technical issues aside, this still is a viable tactic though, as moving targets are harder to hit and because it's much easier to adjust your aim sideways with the left stick on console, compared with the right stick, so moving with the target you're trying to hit will often render more hits easier in my opinion. In this second situation, during the same game, I ended up pinched in a position behind the desk here, fully aware that I was about to get pre-fired as the attacker knew where I was. By using the sound from the attacker's footsteps, I could time the strafe and manage to win that engagement as well. In this situation, I was a bit lucky though as the ACOG is very difficult to use at this distance. In the same way, as the last situation, it felt like I hit more bullets than I should and that the attackers missed more. But that's again just my experience of the situation, without any facts to back it up. Again, the technical issues aside, if the attacker was scoped in, it's extremely difficult to track my movement in this situation, so it's possible he or she didn't even adjust the aim with my strafe. So to sum this up, if you're in a spot that typically gets peaked and pre-fired, anticipate the peak by listening carefully and try to strafe sideways away from that position as you're returning fire. This way of adjusting your sight after removing target with the left stick on console instead of the right stick is often easier and more precise as well. So that's about it for today guys. What are your thoughts around this? Do you have similar experiences? Do you think there's any truth behind my claims around countering the peaker's advantage or is this just my experience of it? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below and give me a thumbs up or down so I get some sort of feedback on this. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it so you'll get notified when I post. I'll be back on Sunday again with some more Rainbow Six Siege content and until then I will keep being noiser. Hey